It was in the summer of 82 when we got our first musical instrument. My mother always wanted to play the harmonium for the satsang and so promptly requested local master ji to teach her. Master ji was blind since birth and I was surprised at the ease with which he could navigate the keys. He said that the keys of the harmonium were all the same and equal in width. The width of the black key and the width of the white key between the black keys is the same. And so if one plays at the back end of the piano and moves the finger by the width of the black key the fingers would move to the next note automatically. I left it at that and enjoyed the music in those balmy summer evenings. Up until now when I observed my son's electric piano more closely I realized that the white keys did not look identical. Black keys appeared smaller than the white keys especially where the white keys were between two black keys. Sizes of all white keys also did not look the same. The travails of returning the defective piece made me investigate more. I wondered if it was even possible for all the keys to be identical. I donned my middle school algebra hat and started. This part of the piano is called an octave and is repeated in a piano. Let's assume all black keys are identical with width B all white keys are identical with width x at the wider end and w where they pass between the black so if we look at the first three keys in the octave we get 3 times x is 3 times w plus 2 times b and similarly for the last four we get 4 times x is 4 times w plus 3 times b and if we solve these two it says that b has to be 3 by 2 of x minus w and 4 by 3 of x minus w simultaneously which is impossible unless of course b is zero now that is good news for the beginners as the piano will have only white keys and no black keys but bad news for the piano teachers association and so different width keys that i saw in the piano was not a manufacturing defect thank god i don't have to go through the pains of returning the piano all the keys of the same color cannot be same and so the challenge for the piano manufacturers is to design keys such that the differences are minimal such that to a regular player they look and feel the same and playing becomes easier so let's relax our condition a bit while keeping all black keys as the same and all white keys with the same width at front let's vary the width of white keys at the back now there are seven white keys in an octave so let's call these c d e f g A B let's assume keys C E F B as same as they are similarly surrounded by one white and one black key and keys D A G as same surrounded by both blacks 4 times x minus 3 times b is 2 times c plus 2 times d and using this we get 3 times x minus 2 times b is 2 times c plus d now if we solve this we get d s x minus b and c s x minus b by 2 here the difference between two white keys is half the width of a black key b by 2 which seems pretty large and might not be good for playing the piano so now let's assume simply the first three keys c d e have the same width and this gives their width as x minus 2 by 3 times b and f g a b the next four keys as same which gives their width as x minus 3 by 4th of a b now the difference between keys is b by 12 which is significantly better lots of real pianos use this arrangement as this solution is pretty optimal and easy to manufacture as all the black keys are the same and white keys are also same at the front so we have finally found an answer to the piano keys now can we do even better there are many more solutions possible if we allow all the keys to be different so if we divide the whole octave in 878472 units then these are the keys that we get here the difference between the width reduces to about 1 by 30th the width of black key much less than 1 by 12th which we got but it is significantly harder to manufacture these keys so you decide and the next time you play or listen to a piece on a piano or a harmonium or an accordion remember the math behind the keys and move your fingers accordingly thank you